Buenos dias, senors and senoritas! Let me know when you are in the room. Hello, Jeffrey! How are you? Look at these beautiful books. Beautiful things to show you guys today, man. Tell you what. If you are backing us on Kickstarter, this is the newest edition. Reward 24B. This is a two book set. It has just dropped and they are flying off the shelves. Check it, get it soon, because they're not going to be here for very long, it looks like. There is only a hundred of these sets available. Only a hundred. Tip that up a bit. Limit one, we're household. Limit one per household. One beautiful set, Blood Moon set, Hell Witch, Lady Death. Just beautiful books. I was very happy to see these. They are available now. There is a link for Kickstarter. If you haven't backed us, click on that link, get things started. Or if you have, click on that link and ask these to be added on uh, backing Cataclysmic Majesty. Check it out. These just dropped today. About an hour ago. An hour? Wow, it's already been an hour. I've been doing so many email messages trying to get everyone back to get this added. It's pretty busy. So if you have messages just in regards to this on Kickstarter, please do this through Kickstarter so we can get notified and get you down for this edition. So please be patient. There's two or three of us. Sometimes only one of us going through all those emails on Kickstarter, so be patient. We will get to you as quickly as we can. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, I have to apologize for the silent film version we did on Monday. No idea what happened. All of a sudden, all the internet, Wi-Fi just started going wonky uh, in HQ. So I apologize uh, about Monday's show. I hope you were entertained nonetheless. <laughs> Jimmy and I worked with it. We're still going with it. Just intro business. You just got to roll with the punches. The show must go on. So I, I apologize personally to all you guys uh, for the uh, technical difficulties we had. So uh, for the bottom of my heart, I do apologize. I, I still hope you guys were all entertained with my little dancing jigs. Look, I'm dancing like the gopher on Caddyshack. Yeah. All right. So much to tell you guys about today. So what I'm going to do, I told you not to come back here. You're not welcome here. No! Get off my show. Take it over. Ah. Whew. That's better. I can breathe. All right. You know, they say not to beat yourself up, but sometimes I just got to keep myself in check. I just got to. Anyways, thank you. Welcome to the Catacombs here on the Swarm Nation. Everybody, great news. Tomorrow, Coffin Comic Con Online 2021 starts. What is going to go on? Well, I got a schedule for you guys just to let you know. I know some of you are already asking me, is there going to be a vault? Is there going to be a vault? <sighs> yes, there will be three days of vault. Items dropping 1 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. 1 p.m. Mountain Standard Time on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We've got a lot of really beautiful exclusives. Jimmy just sent out the VIP newsletter telling you about all the amazing exclusives. There's like eight exclusives, eight prints. So all you fans of prints, Gary Compton, don't worry, I took care of you already. Because I know you're going to call me after you see this video. You're covered, brother. Love you. All right. <laughs> um, real quick, starting tomorrow, 
from Thursday through Saturday. Who's yelling at me? El Presidente's out there yelling at me. Okay. I think so. I don't know. All right. The Vault will be opening Thursday, 1 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And we will be dropping new items on Friday at 1 p.m. Saturday at 1 p.m. Some of the stuff you're going to see, one of a kind. I even have posted up a, and I've showed you guys uh, last week, the first ever Coffin Comics Sculpted Edition. It's a BP. He signed it. It's going up on sale. Yes. This Thursday. So if you've been wanting one, now's your chance. Get it, because it's probably going to be the only time I'll have this edition. It's the La Muerta one, and it's a BP. And it's the only one I have. So um, I was pretty shocked that um, Brian said, let's do it. And I was like, okay, we're doing it. And so that's one of the items. Uh, graded books, ungraded books, publisher files, mock-ups, BP editions, a whole nine yards. It's all going to be dropping Thursday, 1 o'clock. Friday, 1 o'clock. Saturday, 1 o'clock. Mountain Standard Times. For the gentleman that messaged me in Italy, um, I don't know if you'll see this broadcast, but this message is for you. I know Mel took care of you. But it will, you're eight hours ahead of us, so that would be 9 p.m. Italy time. And I hope you can join us. Um, we don't do shout-outs. We do things different. There's links. You click on the links, and it'll take you where to go. So... We are going to have panels Thursday, Friday, and Saturday with uh, Coffin Comics artists and cosplay pl uh, cosplayers um, hosted online on Facebook and YouTube. So we'll be doing double streaming, triple streaming. It's going to be a lot of fun. You guys remember what we did last year um, when ECC shut down and then Phoenix Comic Con was going to happen. Oh, we, whatever it's called now. Fan Fusion, Fan Fest. I don't know because they changed the name a lot. Great show. Stick on a name. That's all I ask. Dang, I love that show. So, here's what we're going to do. Interviews. Over 50 plus items are going to be dropping into the vault. Over 50 plus items. Very cool stuff. I went back and found some old stuff. Early Coffin Comics stuff will be there. So check it out. It's going to be a lot of fun. And, you ready for this? Coffee Cauldron returns. Fresh off the presses. We will add any orders placed during Thursday through Saturday of Coffin Comics Con Online into the Coffin Comics Cauldron. At the end of the day, Brian will randomly pull a name from the Coffin Cauldron to receive a free goodie. Man, we're just giving stuff away left and right. Presenting you guys with some of the most beautiful art we can. And the most lovely books we can. Why? Because we're awesome, and so are you. So thank you, everybody, who's back at the Kickstarter. I know I'm going to see you guys this weekend. I can't wait to see all the posts. I can't wait till you guys have fun for us for at least four hours a day um, during this time. I'm excited. I really had a lot of fun when we did this last year for a couple times. And I hope you guys enjoy all the fun stuff we have planned for you. And I'm excited because um, I get to uh, interview some folks. So I'm really excited. The only person I have interviewed uh, was Monty Moore. God, it was a year ago. Um, I did a, a little one-hour segment with him interviewing him, kind of like talking about his art process and everything like that. And it was a lot of fun. And I'm looking forward to doing it again, and I hope you guys will join us. Look, my face is super light. Let me turn this down because I'm getting a tan. Whew. Okay, that's a little better. I don't feel blinded by the light. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, so here's some of the exclusives we are launching. Jimmy and I tried to show you guys this on Monday, but we had no audio. So that was fun. Um, <laughs> everything kept cut out. So, excuse the look of these images. Uh, the copier is running out of ink, and um, I had to get this ready for you guys. This is the Lady Death Chaos Rules number one Winter Solstice Edition. It is a $25 book. There's 125 serial number copies. There is a three book limit per customer, per household. Duplicate orders will be canceled. Jelly? I don't know what I was gonna say there. I'm 
zombs. <laughs> but what would Winter Solstice Edition be without the naughty Winter Solstice? This will be a $30 book, 150 serial numbers. And just like the other one, limit three copies per customer, per household. We will delete your duplicate order if it comes through. And yes, no censorship bars in the original version. I have had people ask me, he's like, will there be censorship bars? I said, like, why would I call it naughty if it's going to be a censorship bar? No. Coffin don't play that. As Brian would say, we don't play. Next up, probably one of the coolest. Uh, homage covers since the Deathzilla one, I feel. This is Lady Death, Hot Shots, Spider Death Edition. This is homage to Spider Woman number one. It is a $25 book. There is an order limit of three copies per customer per household. And this is what the original, I, I got to say, Dan Feldmeyer and uh, Stephen Butler do amazing work. That's the original one. That's the and here's the homage. This is just great stuff, guys. I really, really just love what these guys are doing. If I had a better way of presenting this, ah, papers. I don't have any mock-ups for y'all because, um, well, I don't have any mock-ups. <laughs> Next up, I was so excited uh, when I saw these were going to be made. Uh, I think this is one of the most beautiful comic shop market edition colors we have ever offered. Very stunning by the very talented Shannon Mayer. This is Lady Death Merciless Onslaught Touchy Metal. This turned out beautifully. This art was designed, I feel, and made for a metal cover or a holographic cover. This is a beautiful piece of work, beautiful painting. I, I'm so happy I made these. They were so fun to make. Next up, we have Lady Death Masters Mike Chrome Naughty Premiere Edition. No, the sensor bars will not be there. This will be a $30 book, 200 serial numbers, Yes, there are limits. Jay Taylor, what's up? Miguel, how are you? I miss you guys. And there is a limit. Sorry, I'll call you back, Gary. <laughs> wow, that's like the third time he's called me during his show. That's awesome. <laughs> Next up, Lady Death Dreams. This is the Hollow Foil Chill Edition. This is a limit of one. The metal edition for Shannon Mayer is also a limit of one per household. So get up early, hit refresh, and scoop these up. There is only 66 serial numbered one versions of this. This is it. 66 are going to be available. Wake up early, hit refresh, go, 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 man, go. All right. I figured Gary's probably asking if I uh, have more prints, uh, and it's like, no. Uh, next up, very popular image. It was an image we used for uh, one of our naughtier covers. This is Lady Death Extinction Express Naughty Crown Edition by the lovely, talented Don McTeague. It's going to run you $30. There's a limit of 200 editions. There is a limit of three per household. So it's great. Um, this is a really popular image. This uh, cover for the naughtier edition that we had, uh, it flew out. It was very popular. And last but not least, the next edition is Lady Death, Treacherous Infamy. This is the Devil Lock edition. Uh, unfortunately, like I say, the printer was ending out of ink and, well, it didn't turn out that great. So I apologize. Um, but we also offer prints for each of these covers. Um, there is a print set of all eight images. You can order them as individuals. It's $100 for the set of eight, which is a really great deal. These are all 11 by 17. Yes, Brian can sign them if that is what you wish. So check it out. Next up, I got some fun stuff, guys. I'm really excited. I just want to say, um, well, I'm excited. A big shout out to Bob Cronister for, there's only 10 days left on this Kickstarter campaign, for making the pens that he did. Uh, I don't know if any of y'all saw the video, but Brian uh, did a video with Bob. 
presenting the pins that Bob had specially made. And there's only like eight to ten of these. And he's just going to randomly drop them in orders. So a round of applause to uh, Bob. Bob Cronister, guys. He's an amazing guy. If you have not met him, you guys are probably going to meet one of the coolest guys and probably one of the biggest fiends uh, and the sworn member I have met. So we have so many people dedicated to us. Um, Bob has been um, just an amazing man and, and a very sweet gentleman to work with. Uh, I have a pleasure of um, talking with him uh, uh, last year when everything was shutting down and, and he gave me some really great advice and I took it. And I just want to say uh, thank you, Bob, for everything. So everyone, a round of applause to Bob. Thank you, Bob. Um, real quick, but I am all excited. Ooh, what are you trying to say, Miguel? Yes, and Jeff is here. Justice for Jeff, everybody. Justice for Jeff. Let's get a nice big round of applause for Justice to Jeff. Um, Randy is uh, not in today. She's doing a bunch of stuff that she's got to take care of. So, you know what? Uh, I know Ace likes it when I scare her. <laughs> I won't be able to scare anyone today. Sorry. Uh, but that would have been fun. So let's get on to some of this uh, fun stuff on the catacombs today. Holy cow, I didn't know it was that late already. All right. I've got old and I got new. Let's start off. I'm going to take this off real quick because it is really warm in this room. Woo! Wow. It is hot. You know, I'm going to start off with some new stuff for you guys today. Let's start off with Lady Death, lingerie number one. This is the Kincaid Premier Naughty Edition. It is a publisher file. Publisher file. Get it while I got it, folks. I got the one available right now. Click on the link and jump on to the catacombs to make your selection. If you're interested in the Kickstarter, there's a link there. Click on that link. and It'll take you right to, to the Kickstarter page. Get yourself set up and get kickstarted and backing us on the next chapter of Lady Death Cataclysmic Majesty. It's all right there for you folks. Also, sign up for our VIP newsletter. It'll keep you up to date when we're doing fun things like the Coffin Comics Con Online, uh, when we're releasing new product. And just all the fun, silly shenanigans. And not only that, we even post stuff uh, on our social, from the social media, from your guys' posts of the stuff that you got in or stuff that you really liked. So join us today. We're a really the best publisher in the industry. We always have fun, and we try to include you in the fun. Next up, we've got Lady Death Lingerie. This is Kincaid Premier. Nice edition. Yes, yeah, um, justice for Jeff. Miguel, if you wouldn't mind doing the tutorial for Mr. Uh, Eric Hart here. Uh, <laughs> uh, justice for Jeff. I, I, Miguel started that. Um, the basic premise is uh, someone took a picture of Jeff with his head down because Brandy was listening to Backstreet Boys all day long at work and Jeff didn't bring his headphones. Um, and then, uh, Miguel took that picture and made it into a meme that has just become part of the culture here at Coffin Comics. So it's always justice for Jeff. Next up, I have Lady Death Moments. This is the mystery edition by Jay Ancelito. This is a publisher file. Beautiful piece, guys. Especially if you like that secret edition he did for us. I think it was Scorched Earth or Blasphemy Anthem. Beautiful work. Um, I highly recommend his stuff. Uh, he used to do interiors for a book back in the day called Aria in the, I want to say it was like 99, 2000, 2001-ish. Beautiful interior art if you can find them. Highly recommend it. Um, there might even be some collected editions out in the wild. It's been a while, but I would just love to flip through that book and just drool over the beauty that was his art. Next up, I was happy to find this. This is a publisher file. This is Lady Death Secrets. This is Duality Edition Chaotica. It's a publisher file. Only 44 were published. This was a mystery envelope item at one time. I'm very happy to bring it here to you guys today. Love these covers. Um, also, to answer some of your questions, yes, I will be dropping some of the other covers throughout the shows, of course, throughout the weeks. I can't do it all at once. 
I gotta give you just a little taste. A morsel, if you will. Woo! All right. Next up, a couple things for Scratch and Dent. How's about the Bleeding Kiss Demonic Metal Edition? Boom. This is a Scratch and Dent item. All Scratch and Dent items are sold as is. If it's something that I didn't think I could sell or I think you might hurt yourself, I just destroyed it. This um, wonderful image, David Harrigan, again, always knocking it out of the park for us. Guy's just super talented and a very great guy to get to know. Next up, another scratch and dip for y'all. This is Oblivion Kiss Finch Emerald Metallic Edition, and it is signed. You know, these are some of my favorite books to make. And when they leave here, uh, they're in the comic god's hands. And when they come back and the box has been mangled, it just, it really breaks my heart. Because I try to make these books as beautiful as possible for you guys. Uh, and when I see that, you know, how they, uh, how sometimes they can get smashed and trans uh, being transported from here to you guys. It really does break my heart. I take it personally because I try to make these books as best as I can for y'all. Next up, new stuff. Oh, Hollow's Evil. This is the Lingerie Moon Witch Edition. All these copies are signed. If you missed out on this around Halloween, these are the last copies I am bringing up to the show. These are the last copies. Next up. I had to bring out the companion piece because this is such a beautiful piece by Sun K. This is All Hollows Evil, Moon Witch Edition. And these also are all signed. All these copies are signed. I cannot erase the signatures. Sorry. But all of these are signed. They will come with a COA. Let's see if anyone's got anything in the comments for me to answer. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the club, Eric. Welcome to the club. Um, yes, I, I, I would love to see the... Um... Okay. Thank you, Jay. I am excited because I get to hang out with you guys, Miguel. But you don't get excited hanging out with us? <laughs> you hurt my feelings. Onward and upwards. There we go. On with the show. Here's some classics for you guys. One of them is the weirdest covers I think I've ever uh, shown. Uh, and it turned out to be one of the most popular covers I put up on eBay. Uh, this is Unholy. Number two, this is the Adrian cover. I have about three or four left in stock. For those who have been picking up the Unholy copies, thank you for checking it out. Um... These will be the uh, last copies of number two. Uh, I might have a couple left on eBay, uh, so also check there. There should be a link for the eBay store as well. All right, now this is a cover I was telling you guys about. This cover was really hot when I showed it last year uh, on my CCSN show when we were st I was still in quarantine and we were all at home doing our respective jobs. I didn't know what to do about this cover. I was afraid to list it. And oh my God, did I get such a good response. So it's here at the catacombs. This is Unholy number two, Nature Calls cover. <laughs> yes, this is the, the funniest and one of the most popular Unholy covers I have placed on uh, eBay. Um, it, it was a lot of people buying it. I had a couple customers buy two. Uh, I don't know, maybe they're plumbers, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, I, I was flabbergasted, it's like, wow, I had a lot of eBay orders just for that cover. Uh, yeah, onesies, twosies, and one guy came back a few months later and bought another one. Next up, Unholy, issue two, this is the premium cover. Thanks, Miguel, I, I, I love hanging with you guys too. Um, the highlights of my, my week, um, have become Mondays and Wednesdays because I get to chill with you guys for 30 minutes a day. Um, and just, you know, just hopefully give you guys a good 30 minutes of some fun. Next up, unholy number two, this is the showgirl cover. 
I have about four copies left of this. Do a good value. This is a six dollar copy. Like I say, I'm down to my last four, uh, five, six issues. Five, six copies of issues, and not issues. Oh my god, I have issues. I have a mental problem. And the last for the unholy. This is unholy number two. This is the Sure Shot cover. I only have the one. For all those who, uh, for the couple folks who scooped up the uh, gold foil and prism foil. I like your style when it comes to comic book variant covers. I always loved that stuff. I was always a sucker for that in the 90s. Now I got something real special for you guys. I've shown and sold proof sheets before, but nothing like these. These are mistakes. This is La Muerta Retaliation Mama Z Deadly Duo cover sheet. And if you notice, it says whoops. And the reason why it says whoops, because as Brian was uh, proofing these covers, he noticed the inside cover had Lady Death. So, um, if he wouldn't have caught that, which is kind of hard to miss, but, you know, things happen, um, the uh, La Muerta Retaliation run, some of the additions would have had the Lady Death uh, stuff. So these are whoops. These are mistake test sheet covers. Um, anytime a new cover is being, before it's put on the books, uh, Brian gets to proof it and check its quality, make sure everything is where it needs to be. And sometimes, hey, that's where you sometimes find stuff like this. But these are one of a kind items. I only have one of each of these and that's it. Once these are gone, these are gone. They will not come back again unless I stumble across more. Like I have this one, La Muerta Retaliation. This is the lethal cover. Again, it is a whoops edition. It has the malevolent decimation indicia on the back, table of contents, adverts. So if you're a big collector or a big fan, check it out. These are the whoops copies as I like to call them. I also have a whoops cover for the hardcover edition. Check on time. Okay, I got two minutes, so I'm gonna go pretty quick. You know what, no, I'm gonna go a little over time. I don't care. I'm doing it for you guys. I wanna show you guys all this beautiful stuff. Next up, I have La Muerta Retaliation. This is the Jewel edition. And again, it is a whoop, or whoops, I should say whoop. Um, and it, they are all signed by Brian, so I will include a COA. These will only ship in tubes. They're a little big for most of the boxes we have, so it's hard for us to uh, pack them, so they will come rolled in a tube. So I, I unfortunately don't have anything big enough to ship these in a flat box. Um, hopefully, um, in the future, if I run across more of this stuff, we'll see about investing in that. You gotta got tons and I don't have a tons of this stuff. Usually it's, you know, onesie twosie and that's it. Here we go. This is the Dark Reaper edition. And this is a mistaken proof copy. Do you want to see the damage to that? Yeah. Yeah, let me show that to you, buddy. Take it out of its sleeve. The damage on it is basically right, it's an older one. And it took the hit right there in the box. I kind of, um, sometimes these pricked upwards this way and I don't want anyone to get hurt. So I'll kind of get a cloth and just kind of tap things down. Cause I'd really hate for you guys to cut yourselves on anything and, you know, hurt yourself. Um, but I hope that was, uh, helpful for you. Yes, it was Jay. The only problem was, uh, we started having massive technical difficulties uh, trying to do that. Uh, so Jimmy's working on it. We'll be uh, presenting those videos like I posted last week. Um, just the, Monday was a weird day when it came to it doing anything video or trying to stream live to you guys. So again, I apologize, uh, but we will definitely uh, get that video up. Um, but yes, Jay, that was perfect. Any of you guys, I, I made a post on the Sword Nation, basically doing a little video of yourselves and, and what does Coffin Comics mean to you? What is it about your characters uh, that you, that we make you love? What story arcs do you enjoy? What are you looking forward to the future? 
how do you much do you love the community we built? I think we have the most amazing community in comics fandom. I might be biased, but yeah, I am. I work here. And not only that, we get to know a lot about you guys. You guys get to interact with us. Same with our artists and some of our writers. You guys you guys interact with us a lot. We interact with you. And let's why I always love things about Coffin Comics is we rolled down the curtain. We interact with you and vice versa. There is no curtains. We pull that stuff down because we appreciate you and we we wouldn't be here without you guys. So thank you everybody. Um, but yes, that video, Jay, was perfect. I got to, you know, Miguel, I'm going to tell you some things. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not, I don't want to reveal anything that might happen. Next up, this is the homage test proof cover. It is a whoops. Again, has the Lady Death um, back covers, uh, that word, or inside covers. Inside covers. Inside covers. So this is really neat. I, I've been sitting on these for a while, just waiting for the right time to present them. Next up, this is La Muerta Retaliation. This is the Deadly Duel La Muerta cover. And if you could see Brian's note right there on this one, wrong IFC. And that was uh, pretty much just about every edition of, of these sheets. So uh, I was like, wow, this is a pretty unique thing. I also have Naughty Mama Z edition, Mr. Ortiz. Very unique piece. If you guys are looking for something unique in your collection, these are one of the kind, one of a kind. Oh, I forgot to put up my fingertures. So there we go. Hi, this is the Naughty edition. This is a Teft proof sheet. And there is the boo boo on the back. And the last one I have for you guys, this is of course the Premiere Edition. And again, right cover, wrong interior covers. So that's everything I have for today for you guys. Thank you very much. Let's read my first Lady Death story two days ago. What was the story, Ace? Um, I really like Zach. I read it um, while I was camping over the weekend. Freaking love that book. That was a fun, fun book. Fun characters. If you haven't tried Zach, I recommend picking it up. We still have stock uh, on the store. So try something new. Check out Zach. I think you might like it. Not only that, you can see when you're reading the Lady Death books, it's like, well, who's this Zach and Zane character? Well, hey, who, who's... Who's the La Muerta character, if you don't familiar? We have a universe and it's growing. And we're doing it because we can do it and we're doing it for you. I'm Julian the Hooligan. I don't know where that masked man went. Maybe he'll be back. I don't know. But I'm sworn to you. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. This weekend, Coffin Comic Con Online 2021 starts tomorrow, 1 p.m. Open in the vault. Thursday at 1 p.m., Friday at 1 p.m., and Saturday at 1 p.m. When will it close? Well, you'll have to find out. Talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful week. I'm sworn to you. I'm Julian the Hooligan. Peace out, everybody. Make this day amazing.